This week finds the Canada Rough Crew in a really unique hunting adventure. Actually, it's part of a future hunting adventure. We're building the Canada Rough Deer Camp that you're going to see in a lot of future hunting episodes of this show. You know, we've just finished a great fall of filming for season six. Oh, we've had some awesome hunts, some great whitetail hunts, and a whole bunch of other kind of hunting you're really going to enjoy. But this week, we're building our deer camp, the new home for Canada the Rough. It started in British Columbia, built from western cedars by Pioneer Log Homes. Fantastic timbers, a fantastic structure to celebrate this great deer camp. And it's all about the greatness of Canada. And I love this, just another part of our hunting heritage. It's going to be a great show, and I look forward to sharing it with you. I'm your host, Thomas Pichon, for Canada the Rough. Let's get hunting. Canada in the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series. Canada, the last hunting frontier, three and a half million square miles of unspoiled wilderness and some of the best hunting on the planet. Canada in the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series. All Canada, all wild. Brought to you by Rocky Outdoor Gear, Excalibur Crossbow, Bass Pro Shops, Yamaha ATVs and Outboards, Federal Premium Ammunition, Beretta Shotguns. This week on our season finale episode, we're building our Canada in the Rough Hunt Camp. The hunting camp is one of the most important and treasured hunting experiences for many of us across this great nation. It's a place where new friendships are struck and old friendships rekindled. It's a place where fireside stories are told and memories recounted are always larger than life. It's a place we go back to year after year with fellow hunters and friends to take part in our great hunting heritage. Today, not only will we be erecting our In the Rough Hunt Camp, but we will also be visiting Pioneer Log Homes of BC, the designers and builders of our great new home. But this isn't just another log home company. The Pioneer family of businesses is truly a family affair. Created by Brian Reed Sr. in 1973, Brian still operates the business along with his brother Andre Chevigny. Their brother David Chevigny created and oversees Pioneer Logging, who looks after harvesting the logs for the homes. Together, they are able to capture Mother Nature's beauty better than anyone. From across Canada, to the United States, Europe, to Japan, even Australia, the Pioneer family is world-renowned as a truly unique premium log home builder. These brothers are not only great artists and successful businessmen, but they are also avid outdoorsmen. It's truly fitting that the creators of the Canada in the Rough Hunt Camp are just as passionate about their hunting heritage as we are. Join us today for our season five finale as we build the new home for our show and our own special place to create hunting memories for years to come. Pioneer Log Homes is located in Williams Lake, British Columbia, um, a town of about 12,000 people. Williams Lake has been a resource-based town for wood. We have three production facilities here in Williams Lake, one being the Soda Creek Division, another one being the 150 Mile House Division, and the third one being the Williams Lake Sugarcane Site, which is our biggest production site. That site is where we are currently building the ultimate deer camp for Canada in the Rough out of the large diameter premium red cedar logs, diameters of about 18 inches uh, average. Pioneer has fell back on for probably the last 15 or 18 years as having western red cedar as being the mainstay of our home, mainly for its insulating value, its straight grain, its color, its beauty, its texture, it's second to none, it's, it's you know, the Rolls Royce of building logs. For us, we have a great respect for the logs that we use. 
A lot of these timbers are two, three, four, five, six hundred years old. Those trees have seen, uh, you know, Columbus cross the ocean. They were growing when that happened. And, and to us, we take that very seriously. So when we take and we purchase a piece of wood to use it on somebody's house, we utilize everything on the tree, the bark, the cedar bark, we'll mulch it and it goes to a power plant here in Williams Lake and it's used for power in the community. Any of our scraps and that are also used for wood pellets for heating in a house. Even the sawdust is used as much as possible. And that to us is, is huge. We as crafters of wood have a great respect for what we call God's fingerprints in the wood. You know, if you look at the growth rings and you see the history and stuff, you can't help but have life with that piece of wood. And uh, it's, it's an energy that comes out of the wood that's unexplainable as, as a craftsman. And we really try to uh, emphasize the maximum utilization. We try to emphasize sustainability. It's so important to Pioneer to make sure that those trees are harvested from sustainable forests. That's the number one priority when we're looking for logs, you know, as well as the quality is where's that wood? Is there a planted trees in place of those when they're harvested? So we're very proud that we've been a leader in the industry of pushing everything that we use to be 100% utilized when we bring a tree into the, into the building site that 100% of that piece of wood is used. Coming up next, the construction of the Canada in the Rough Hunt Camp begins. Closed captioning is brought to you by Bushnell, Magnify Life. We did our first house in Europe, uh, in Germany in 1988. And I'll never forget going over there and meeting the engineer who was a German engineer, um, a wood engineer, and he told me that our house was engineered for 300 years. And I'll never forget that trip home, how it hit me, how that what Pioneer is building today is going to be here for generations and centuries to come. No matter where or what building site we build a home, after the construction drawings are completed, then we'll build the structure at our site. That process is typically a three to four month process, depending on the size of the structure. Once it's completely assembled, we'll number the logs, disassemble it, put it on trucks, and then uh, deliver it to its final destination where our crew will come and reassemble the log package on the customer's prepared foundation. Trucks here, the logs have arrived from BC. The boys are ready, let's get building. in here. I tell you, you know, these guys at Pioneer Log Homes, they're absolute craftsmen. Each log is scribed to naturally fit into the other one. It's absolutely spectacular work. I can't imagine how difficult this is to do. What a trade. And the kind of logs they use, there's feature logs, there's structural logs. This one here, look at this, it's got this big open gnarly canker. Some people would say, geez, don't use that log. And they look at this thing, uh, this log, and say, you know what, this is a thing of beauty. This is what nature did. Let's lay it in and work with it. And they use it as a feature. Spectacular.
You know, the largest timber in this house weighs about 4,000 pounds, two tons of western cedar. And to move them, they've got a really unique feature, these cables that basically you can just hook onto with our boom crane and lift away and, and drop them on site. The cool thing about this, we're embedding this into the log and, and building with these loops in. You can cut them out, but we've elected to leave them in. If we ever want to move this house, you basically unbolt it, hook up again, lift it, they're all numbered, reassemble it somewhere else. Great design feature. When we return, day one of construction comes to an end and day two starts off with a bang. So I understand you got something to show me here, boys. Yeah, we got a surprise for you. What you got under here? Oh, come on. <laughs> we finally got our Grizz from BC. We did. <laughs> what a beauty. I'm thinking Boone and Crockett. <laughs> what a spectacular, spectacular piece of carving. Wow, and that's the same lad that did the beaver. Yeah. What's his name? Ken Sheen. Ken. I think I met him the last time I was down your way. Yeah. Man, he does lovely work. You guys do spectacular work. And that's going right up top in the front of this bad boy? Right, right in the middle of the house, house. yeah. <laughs> Let's put her up. Wow, fantastic, thank you. I have to tell you, I've seen a lot of things in my life, but I've never seen anything like this. Talking about precision craftsmanship, this is the end of day one. After six hours, the walls are up, the main ridge beam is on, this fantastic decoration sculpture all over the place is attached. Tomorrow we go at it again. What a day. <laughs> Pioneer Log Homes and Canada in the Rough share a lot of the same values. Whether you're from Newfoundland or you're from British Columbia, we're all Canadians and I'm a Canadian to the bone, I'm, I'm nothing but Canadian. I have a deep respect for Thomas, the way he has really brought hunting into a new realm on television in, in Canada. And the first time I saw him, I thought that it was uh, really special the way he brings young people into the outdoors and shows the respect for the game, for the animals, the relationships that people build through the young kids with their parents and stuff. Early on, my dad always instilled it values into us about respect for animals, respect for one another, and just the conversation and the, the relationships that hunting brings you, not just the getting of the game or the fish. A lot of kids nowadays aren't uh, given some of those opportunities, so to show that and share that with the kids is huge. Well, another beautiful day. You know, yesterday we had a remarkable day. We got the frame up for this wonderful log structure. We got the ridge beam up. Man, I can't believe how fast that went up. Today, we're in, uh, we're in our backwoods here in the farm. We're gonna cut down some Canadian Eastern cedar. We're gonna use that as a, as a beam to, uh, to hang our can the rough sign on. Finishing touch on a beautiful building.
Hey, Sean, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Thomas? Right on, man. Another beautiful morning? Yes, it is. There you go. Burgers. So what's up now? Oh, we're putting our three bolts through. It's part of our hold down system for the house. Right on. Holds them together, and I understand as they dry, you can actually start to tighten yep. it down and compact them. Is that right? Yeah, you can. it gauges how much the house is coming down. So from a maintenance standpoint, what you have to do, I guess, is it once a year or once every few months? I would check it every month or every couple months. Right. Especially while she's drying down, right? Yeah. Just take a look and see how it is. When will this house be completely dried out? Probably within five years. Five years. Five years for sure. It shouldn't come down good. anymore after that. Good. So I'll make it my monthly regimen. Yeah. Well, I need something to do. That's good. Perfect. The reveal of the new Canada in the Rough Hunt Camp is coming up next. <laughs> Five days ago, I was staring down a buck like this. I just couldn't get close enough to him. Is that ever a beautiful piece of work? Yeah. Wow. Well, I have to tell you, the building of the Can of the Rough Hunt Camp has got to be the crowning glory to what's been a spectacular season. You know, this year we started off season five with a fantastic goose hunt with my good friends at St. Lawrence Outfitters. From there we went to southwestern Ontario and hunted with Wiley Harvey of Accessible Canadian Outdoor Adventures. And that was quite a story and it was shared with my good friend Kim Lewis. We then headed out to Manitoba with Roy and Spence of Twisted Oak Outfitters. Boy, that guy's a serious whitetail hunter, and we took a fine whitetail home with us on that adventure, too. Quebec, well, I grew up in that province, and we did a great tundra ptarmigan hunt and a great tundra caribou hunt up there. And we finished off the year with a great mule deer hunt with Billy Franklin at Silver Sage Outfitters and took a great muley with our compound bow. What a great year it's been. But talking about exciting, I can't stand the anticipation anymore. We've got to have a look at the new Canada Rough Hunt Camp. Move that trailer! Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is this fantastic. How spectacular is this? You know, this journey started off some time ago when we went to Pioneer Log Homes of BC. And they said they were going to build us something special, and they surely have. This is our new home. You know, these logs, these timbers, the craftsmanship, unbelievable and everything that's gone into it. The pioneer guys, the best hunters, the best friends, great people. The folks from Mastercraft have put these spectacular windows and doors together. My heavens, they are beautiful. And the other day when we were putting the final touches on this, just brushing in that magical Timber Pro stain, oh, does that ever color things up and make it great. And a special thanks to my friends at Hallmark Homes and the whole gang there that worked on the infrastructure of this great log building. I love those guys. And to you, the viewers and our sponsors, thank you for being behind us. Thank you for watching us. And to our sponsors, thank you for supporting us and believing in everything we've done and will continue to do. And so from my family to yours, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Thomas Pigeon for Canada the Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Canada in the Rough has been brought to you today by Rocky Outdoor Gear 
Excalibur crossbow, Bass Pro Shops, G3 boats, Federal Premium Ammunition, Sacco and Tika rifles.